This is the first UEFN app which will make your development experience faster. Alright guys, so this is Gloom Tools UEFN and basically what it allows you to do is upload your own creations for others to use or you can import um, Gloomcraft creations which are already available as you see here and it will allow you to import them in straight into your projects and let's say you want a rank system instantly click a button boom you have a ring system all right so yeah so if you want the app you can go to the microsoft store and you could search gloom tools search it up and boom first one right there and right here gloom tools uefn and here's just some screenshots you could read exactly what it does but and there you go so you could install it and you know it's safe because it's on microsoft it's on the microsoft store right so yeah uh however you're probably wondering why is there a credit? What is this token thing right here? So while the app may be free, okay, there is a credit. You get a number of credits each month. So right now it's 10. So if you want more credits, right, you can go to the Gloomcraft website. Okay. And right here, buy credit section. So you click this and then you can log in with Google, which I'll do right now. All right. As you see, if you go to buy credits, you can see how many credits you have. Uh, you could see your next refresh. See, mine is September 1 next month, and it will refresh, and I'll get 10 more credits. Um, and then here you could buy the credits, of course. And yeah, so it's pretty, I would believe, fair pricing because 25 cents only for just one credit. So, uh, best deal is this one. This one's like 25 20% 20 off right here. So, 10 credits, best deal. Uh, it's cheaper than buying 10 of these. Yep, so yeah, there we go. So, how about we actually try it out? So, what you're first gonna want to do. Okay, just press browse, okay, and you just go to where your project's located. So I go here, go here, something, uh, and then I go to wherever your place is. So mine is right here, showcase for app. You go into plugins, okay, plugin, and then right here, content. You click that, you press OK. Okay, so how about let's say I want instantly, I want a rank system V2. Okay, uh, I could just double click it. Okay, so I could just see what's inside and then you're going to want to right click this. Okay, uh, and you could just download all the file. Uh, but let's say I wanted a custom hat, right? Let's double click this. Uh, there's a PNG in here. And if you think it's not safe, you can right click it. Okay, and you can view the PNG. Okay, yeah. So just make sure uh, when you're about to download a whole folder, make sure to double click it first and then uh, right click here. So then you could press, oh, do you want to download all of them? Sure, I want to download all of them. So let's download it. And boom, I lost two credits because there's two files in there. So, okay, it put it in. So, uh, we should be good and we should be able to see something happen. So, let's do build verse code. Okay, and we do have some errors. Okay, it seems. Oh, no definition rank. Okay, so, so let's go to verse over here. Let's click this. Okay, and we have our stuff in here. Okay, and see, as we see what the problem is right here, unknown definition. Uh, unknown identifier ranks. Okay, and this is just because we don't have the ranks. Uh, I will be putting it into the uh, app. I will put the, the images for this, but in our case, uh, what I'll do is just import the Im images. So what we're going to do is add new folder for ranks and we're just going to go here, import. And all I got to do is just find my ranks. All right. So I put them in right here. So let's save it. Okay. And there we go. We got our three images for our ranks. So. There we go. So now if we go back in here, we don't have that error anymore. So let's build it this time. And we don't have an error this time. And we're good to go. Um, One thing that is weird, okay, that does happen is if you go to verse explorer, uh, it might not show up. Okay. Uh, and that's weird, even though it knows that it's created them. So I believe the fix for that is just to create like a thing first in here, like a, uh, a file. And boom, it just shows up. So it's not big of an issue. You just have to create a verse file before you do this or after you already import. It. So there we go. We're done with that. And we're good to go. Our rank system is basically done, I believe. So if we go to all, uh, we can go here. And I think the only thing left. So let's just drag it out right here. Rank system update. And there we go. So all we need is an elimination tracker. Okay. And we have a bunch of customizable options to choose from. Uh, so we have elimination tracker. So all we got to do is just search up tracker okay and go over here and then all we got to do is just go to ele put eliminations target value zero and we remove the the widget we don't want it right show on hud no show progress no and there you go Play player eliminations count and that's it so there we go so now 
we could just go back to our red system update device pick the tracker and we're good to go that's it so i'll see you guys in the game and i'll show you that it's so easy we could easily just add a ring system all right so we're in so let's just start the game and i'll show you that it works perfectly and there we go we already have a ring system just like that let's say within like just like a minute we were able to get a full rank system okay basically so this will be available for other things as well so as we see here on the app we have many other things we have custom hat custom character device persistent device tycoon dropper device instant respawn and a pet system so these are very big especially the pet system it's pretty massive and it might require more credits okay so if anyone in the comments is thinking uh, that we should give uh, more credits at the start, then please comment that down below. And as well, I want to tell you guys, there will be future updates coming that will make your life even easier and help you with even coding, okay? So yeah, we're going to make it even better. We're going to add more stuff. This is Gloom Tools UEFM. So that's it for the video. Gloomcraft is about inspiration and learning. Have a good day, everyone.